so good morning everyone. So my name is Camille Bachelier and uh, I'm wor I work for Novatec Solar. Novatec Solar who is a, a German supplier of uh, linear Fresnel uh, collectors for linear Fresnel uh, power plants. And uh, I've prepared a, a small presentation on the, um, on the linear Fresnel model which is integrated in, in SAM since 2012 and uh, for which we, we have supported uh, uh, NREL directly for, for the development. And I will say also a few words concerning the, the deviation between uh, the, the in-house model we are using in, uh, in Novatech, which are a bit more advanced, and the model uh, developed in SAM. Uh, can you s uh, go on the next slide, please? Thanks. So as I said, since May 2012, uh, there is a linear Fresnel performance uh, model in SAM, which allows you to uh, model uh, almost any kind of linear Fresnel collector for direct steam generation. I say almost any kind because it depends on what uh, technical data you, you have uh, in order to, to, to provide SAM with the correct input. So in this presentation, I will first uh, say a few words about the uh, linear Fresnel technology so that everybody can see uh, how it looks like and what are the main differences to, uh, to the power brick trough technology, which is a bit more well known. Then I will say a few words about the, the model which have, has been uh, integrated into SAM. And I will conclude with some uh, overview uh, on the comparison we have done uh, between SAM and uh, our model. Next slide, please. Yeah, you can go to the next slide. So here you have a picture of, uh, on the right side, top uh, right corner, you have a picture of a uh, power brick trough uh, reflector and how it compares to a Fresnel primary reflector. So the idea with Fresnel is that by slicing your power brick trough reflector in, uh, in, some, uh, in, in various lines, you can uh, have the same concentration, same kind of optical uh, concentration of the sun rays without having this uh, large uh, mirror, which represents uh, quite uh, some weight to be uh, moved by the, by the motors and uh, which induces also some higher cost as, a, as if you have uh, some uh, flat mirrors. So that's the big difference between uh, trough and Fresnel. With the Fresnel design, you are losing a bit in uh, optical efficiency because you don't have as accurate uh, an optical uh, configuration as for power brake trough, but on the other side, since you are losing weight and you are using much more simpler uh, components, you are also inducing quite significant cost region. And the point is that for Fresnel, the, the entire idea of the business model is that the cost reduction should be larger than, the, the, than what is lost uh, due to the lower optical efficiency. At the moment, uh, there are several suppliers of uh, linear Fresnel collectors around the world. Uh, so far, there is only one main technology which is uh, commercially available, and this is, uh, these are technologies which use uh, water as heat transfer field, which means that we are generating uh, steam directly into the, the receiver. It's not like for power trough, who use mainly uh, oil, thermal oil, for the, the heat transfer. There is another technology which is being developed at the moment, which is a direct molten salt technology. Uh, in this case, we use directly a molten salt, like solar salt, which is used for storage uh, in many power body trough plants. And we use it both as storage medium and working medium in the solar field. So this technology is still under development, but it uh, provides some good perspectives for the integration of storage with uh, Fresnel uh, technology. Next slide, please. So, uh, since uh, in 2012 we were only had uh, the direct steam generation technology, and since uh, the direct motion technology is still uh, under development, uh, so far SAM only uh, allows you to, to model direct steam generation Fresnel uh, solar boiler, boiler. So, a Fresnel solar boiler for direct steam generation can be uh, separated in two main parts. One part for the evaporation of, uh, of water and the second part for the separating. Uh, depending on which company you ask, uh, you ask, you may have a direct steam generation with recirculation or with a once-through uh, boiler. Uh, at Novatech, and uh, as for the, the, 
linear Fresnel model used in SAM, uh, all technical parameters were given for uh, recirculation, direct steam generation, Fresnel solar boiler, which means that you are separating the saturated steam at some point in the, in the collector row in order only to, to separate uh, a part of the entire mass flow. This has some advantages in terms of, uh, of uh, the possibility of controlling the, the water mass flow into the lines. So this is, at least for the linear funnel model of Novatex solar products integrated in SAM, this is uh, the configuration which has been considered. Next slide, please. So in SAM, you have two possibilities to model uh, linear Fresnel solar boilers. Uh, either you are using the generic uh, model, which you can access by the, the conventional way, or you are using the sample file, which has been prepared by uh, Novatex. So the, the point is, with the sample file, you already have a pre-configured uh, model, which corresponds to an existing technology. If you are using the generic model, you can model un virtually any technology, but you have to make sure that you are using the, the correct inputs. So if you want to model uh, Novatex solar boilers, you should rather use uh, the sample file which has been pre-configured. And this sample file allows you to model only recirculation uh, solar boiler, since this is what Novatex uh, supplied, for uh, separating uh, of steam. Um, Novatex solar so far proposed to solar boilers which allows you to, to separate steam up to 550 degrees C and 150 bar. At the time the model was developed in, in SAM, uh, these parameters were a bit lower, and there is a, you may find some uh, warning messages if you are uh, going over 510 degrees C and 90 bar. But in practice, you could uh, reach uh, as high steam parameters as uh, 550 degrees C and 150 bar. Uh, next slide, please. So this slide is just uh, a reminder of the main uh, achievements of uh, Novatech. So Novatech at the moment is, uh, is, the, uh, is uh, the company who has built the largest commercial uh, Fresnel power plant in Spain, Puerto Rico II. Um, yeah. So next slide, please. So here you can see the, the fundamental formula which is used in some model for modeling of uh, linear funnel technology. Um, this should be the same formula or sensibly the same formula uh, independently of what kind of technology or what kind of supplier you are considering. In the end, this formula allows you to make a link between the, the reflector area you have built, the temperature uh, at the moment at a given point of time, and the optical efficiency of the, of the collector. So uh, the optical efficiency can be calculated depending on the uh, nominal optical efficiency, which is only dependent on the basic geometry of the, of the collector. And then you have also to take into account two uh, incident angle modifiers, allowing, allowing you to uh, correct this nominal optical efficiency from the sun angle uh, influence. So since you have two sun angles influencing the optical efficiency of your system, you also have to consider two uh, incident angle uh, modifiers. Then for the heat losses, uh, in the actual SAM model, there are several possibilities to, uh, to model heat losses uh, from such a, a technology. For the sample file defined for Novatex Solar uh, products, it is based on, uh, on the, a polynomial in order to uh, interpolate, uh, to correlate, correlate the heat losses with the various uh, ambient temperature difference to, uh, to the free temperature. Next slide, please. <coughs> so this is just these are, this is just to give an overview of the typical values for this uh, this technical uh, performance indicators based on, uh, on Novatech technologies. So the point is, the Novatech is always aiming to, to um, support people to get a better understanding of, the, of Fresnel technology and of Novatech products. And in this way, all these technical indicators which are required 
uh, in order to do calculations with some of uh, linear Fresnel uh, systems, are publicly available. So they have already been implemented, integrated into some via the sample file, but you can also find it uh, on our website or, or in our brochures. Uh, the diagram here is just to give you an idea of the main difference between a linear Fresnel collector and a parabolic trough. If you are familiar with the technology, uh, for parabolic trough, you will mainly have the influence of only one incident angle on the optical efficiency. But due to the difference in uh, optical configurations for Fresnel uh, system, you will have uh, a strong influence of both sun angles on the optical efficiency. And this is what you see on the on the on the diagram. The point is between there are two uh, collector technologies uh, commercially available at the moment from Novatech. One for the um, for quite low temperature ranges, which uh, we have used, for example, at our plant in P uh, in Spain for generating uh, saturated steam, and another one uh, which uses uh, vacuum tubes for the separating of steam. Both of these technologies have different performances, and this is important to understand because then, when you are uh, using SAM, you will have to, to be careful uh, in the choice of the technology you are uh, doing for modeling the evaporating part and separating section of the, of the solar boiler. You have to be aware that the performance of the both parts may be different, especially if you are using a tech solar uh, model, and that uh, SAM is correctly modeled in order to take into account this, this difference. Next slide, please. So as I said, you have two possibilities of modeling linear Fresnel uh, solar boilers with SAM. Either you use the generic SAM model, or you can directly use uh, the pre-configured sample file from Novatech. So in order to access this file, uh, on the welcome screen from SAM, you have this uh, open a sample file uh, option, and then you will directly see in, this, in the shortlist the Novatech Solar Boiler uh, file. So you just have to, to select this file, click OK, and then follow the, the few instructions which are given consider, concerning the, the configuration of this file. Um, you can, with some model, quite different uh, configurations, uh, which means that you can model different size of solar boilers compared to uh, the size of the power block and so on. But there are a few things which you should not change if you are aiming at modeling uh, Novatech solar products. And this corresponds to all parameters which are directly related to the, the construction of the, of the technology, which means that in the sample file, all parameters characterizing the, the technology have been already pre-configured and should not be changed. This is all parameters concerning optical efficiency, heat losses, um, or the geometry of the collector uh, themselves. For the rest of the parameters, which, which kind of temperature, which kind of pressure, and uh, what kind of power block you want to, to model, then you don't have uh, to, to mind. You, you can change, adapt this quite uh, independently. Next slide, please. <coughs> so, uh, during the process uh, of developing this linear Fresnel model with, uh, with NREL, we had to, to do some regular comparison between uh, our models, which are a bit more detailed, and Sam's models, in order to see uh, if we are uh, on the same way, if we are modeling the same things or similar things, at least. The objective was not to get a perfect match, but at least uh, a correct order of ID for the final results. Um, during the comparison process, we are focused mainly on the thermal power, because this is where we can make a difference. Uh, I mean, the, the power block model is not something which Novatech Solar could have reviewed because it's not its uh, expertise area, but uh, and th th that is why we are focused on the, the thermal power uh, comparison. So you see on this diagram for an example uh, day, for an example location, that you have quite a good match between the hourly values of uh, thermal power between SAM and, uh, and Novatex model. Next slide, please. So we have done this comparison for several locations in order to see on uh, an annual average uh, basis what are the, the deviations between SAM and uh, Novatex model. And we have found that 
for what the for what concerns the, the thermal energy, you don't you can expect quite a, a low inaccuracy between the low deviation between the the two models. So for the con configurations which we have uh, compared, we have found that the annual thermal energy yield from Sun and from Novatec more detailed models are not uh, too far uh, from each other, and you can expect uh, an inaccuracy in, in deviation in the range of plus minus 2.5 percent, and if you are pessimistic, plus minus 5 percent. Next slide, please. <coughs> so to conclude, if you have to keep something in mind concerning the linear Fresnel uh, model in SAM, that uh, for it's quite uh, it's more simple than what would be used to uh, to size uh, an actual plan for a given project. The, it allows you to get quite a, a good order of idea of the at least thermal energy yield of a, of a solar boiler, and this means that then uh, if you are trying to also to calculate Electric, uh, electrical power from its thermal power. If you have a proper power block model, you should not expect uh, too, too high inaccuracy on, uh, on your final results. So some can be used to model uh, linear Fresnel uh, solar boilers with, for direct steam generation. Um, even for the final results may have to be uh, uh, calculated a bit more into details for actual projects. Um, I think this is the main things which I wanted to say here. So now I will be glad to, to answer your question if you have any. Thank you very much. And again, if people on the phone lines have questions about the uh, presentation, press uh, star 1 and repeat your name for the operator. And we currently have no questions online. Are there any questions on the phone lines? Yes, just one moment. Guangdong 2 from Anyway. Your line is open. Okay, thanks. Uh, come here. I have a quick question on the uh, presentation. Um, so uh, I just wondering, uh, what type of uh, vacuum receiver you, you you used for your, um, you know, superheater? So at the moment, it was based uh, on the shot technology, but uh, for the future generation of our technology, we may not. Uh, stay with them. It depends. It's always, you know, a, a constant uh, development pro process in which we are always aiming at uh, testing new um, products available in order to, to cover a wider range of uh, steam parameters. But at the moment, it's based on the short uh, receiver tube. Okay. It's 90 millimeter receiver or is it 80 millimeter receiver? Uh, 70 millimeters uh, diameter. Okay. I s I thought those uh, short receiver only works up to 100 bar. I just, uh, you know, surprised to see you. You said it's uh, up to 150 bar for the yep. for the receiver. So the point is, this is not uh, things which we define by ourselves because, as you mentioned, it's directly connected to what the, the sub components of the technology uh, can do, and these are parameters which we have uh, chosen as commercial parameters which we are ready to offer commercially uh, on the short term, based on the discussion we had with, uh, with SHOT and some uh, other suppliers. Okay, thanks Camille.